This is an almost perfect plan. Uh, carrying a large mass out here at some elevated position gives it a degree of potential energy. Somehow he lifted it to that height. They're found it already at that height and uh, was able to construct a pendulum in such that when he stood out here it has a certain amount of potential energy. Let's say a thousand joules. When he releases the pendulum, the pendulum will swing down to some zero position uh, right above the road and it will have zero potential energy. So the zero potential energy uh, will now have been changed into kinetic energy. All of the potential energy loss here will be changed into kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy now will, will be equal to a thousand joules. And you could actually find the velocity if you wanted to because that would be equal to, well, if kinetic energy is one-half mv squared, two times kinetic energy divided by m, take the square root of it, would be equal to your velocity. So knowing how high it is and how much potential energy, it'll have velocity. Now, unfortunately, the roadrunner is able to avoid all of this kinetic energy. And so the pendulum then swings back up into the air and in a normal environment would come exactly to the same height where it would stop. Now it's lost all of its kinetic energy. It's changed back into a thousand joules of potential energy. The potential energy, as you recall, is equal to the mass, the pull of gravity, and the height above the ground. So if I start at a certain height, it can only rise to that same height. In fact, it would rise a little bit less because it would lose some energy to friction. Unfortunately, the comic book world, uh, the laws of physics don't quite work. Pretty much the laws of physics conspire against, uh, against the coyote.